Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Hi guys, welcome back to the Training Post. I am Scott and my wife Christina is not going to be here this morning. Um, she'll probably poke her head in maybe on a later video. Uh, she might surprise me too. But um, today is Wednesday and I'm going to be pulling orders for Monday and Tuesday. And right now we have uh, eight orders for $314.56. So uh, hang out with us and uh, let's see what we got. Concentration and if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every Every day, call it replication. Wake up. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. All right. First up, we have a Boyd's Bear. It's a ceramic. Um, this is Frostberry with Maddie. This is part of my cousin's estate, and it sold for six dollars and fifty cents. We don't have many going out. Uh, usually, we're we're averaging about six dollars, or uh, I'm sorry, six items a day right now. And we only hit eight. A little bit lower on the items, but we did have a uh, a Dooney brick purse sell. So they helped a lot. Eight items. I'll still take it. I'm not complaining too much. All right. Next is a eight DVD set of Germany at War. Um, it's supposedly original German uh, film footage. I got this uh, in a bundle of uh, DVDs from a yard sale in Florida. And when I say bundle, it was probably <laughs> two or three hundred DVDs. But I've been sitting on this for a while. Um, it was in our death pile. I listed it and it sold probably in about a month. But it sold for $39.95. Here's another one from my cousin's estate. This is a 30 inch inflatable Santa Claus. She had a bunch of little uh, inflatables as far as Santa Claus candy canes, ornaments, and a couple others. Um, different color like green ornaments, red ornaments. But this one sold for $11, and I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but the Boyd's Bear was actually my cousin's estate as well. All right, we have a Stampin' Up. This one has uh, cars and plane, a four-wheeler, and a boat on it. This one is actually Need for Speed. It's unused, and we sold this one for $20. All right, we have a Cabbage Patch. She has uh, brown and blonde hair, and this one actually has gray eyes. We got this at a flea market uh, down in Florida. Oh, I think there's probably seven or eight of them. Maybe, maybe 10. But um, none of them had clothes. I think she was asking 20 for all. And uh, we kind of walked away, not knowing if they sell or not. But I believe we ended up getting all of them for $10. And this one actually sold for eleven fifty. All right, we have uh, some fairy garden items. Um, we grouped these two together. This is a little wishing well, and the other is a little bird bath. Without knowing how to price these, she actually did very well. We now know once we get out and about, and if we were to find some more, we know how to price them. She grouped these two together. Again, I think we paid for $10 for the whole box, and we've already sold three or four pieces to double or triple our money. But without her knowing how to price them, she did very well. Um, these two pieces she grouped together, and they end up selling for $10. So that's probably $40 that we've already made out of the 10 And we still probably got five or six more pieces. So now we know, you know, shoot around the $10 range. 10 to 15 depends on the size. So now we know in the future. Uh, that was one of those little experiment things we did. So yesterday I was a little bummed out about uh, not really selling a whole lot because at that point we only sold two things on Monday and I know our average is roughly about six things and it wasn't very high dollar and then uh, we started getting some sales coming in. I didn't even see it. Um, I was on the phone with my oldest brother and um, I didn't even know it came through but uh, after I got the phone I checked. This is a Dooney & Burke Black Pebble Leather Crossbody. It's uh, Trixie Large. It is new, but it doesn't have the tag. It comes with the uh, little uh, bag that comes in with it. And I think this one has the certificate. We paid roughly $35 each. And I believe she got six purses, uh, which would put us at $210 for all of them. Um, this one, we're already halfway home just with the first one selling. And this one sold for $125. All right, last for uh, Monday and Tuesday is a pair of Jelly Pop shoes these are uh girls i don't remember the size but um they end up selling for 950 
and uh, we got these at a yard sale and I can't see us paying no more than two dollars for these so not great profit but it's a profit there it is not much as far as items go but uh, it is over three hundred dollars and this is for Monday and Tuesday I'll end up adding Wednesday and Thursday to it as we get to it all right we're back uh, to trying to finish up the week of shipping uh, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed because uh, this is probably one of our worst weeks that we've had in a while for the second half of Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday we only sold three items and it was for a little over $103 or just over $102 it's bad um, I would think that we would start to increase with it being um, this time of year but uh, maybe it's the quiet before the storm but uh, we'll see how it goes all right we have uh, this Tigger mug it's from uh, Disney Parks it has a little swirls on the inside um, I don't think it has a year on it, but it's a 20 ounce. And we end up selling this one for $22. All right, we have here a uh, vintage butterfly uh, desk lamp. Uh, we got this at the Highway 127 sale. Um, it is metal on the base. Um, it could use a new paint job because some of the paint's flaking off. But there's a butterfly there on top, and the base is actually a butterfly. But I believe we paid uh, $3.00. For this um at the yard sale there and we end up selling it for 25. all right we have a cd lot here um this is part of the ones where we got for probably a quarter a piece um at a thrift store down in florida but uh robert plant get the cars grace hits um this one's james addiction acdc this is probably this acdc is probably one of the best albums they've had bon jovi violent films White Lion, Van Halen, and Grand Funk. Uh, we're into these for uh, we're into these for just over two dollars, and we so sold them as a bundle for fourteen. That is it for the week. Uh, it's not good. Uh, hopefully, we can try to do a little bit better. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get Christina down here and see what her take is on it, and I'll throw that little bit of uh, recording in as well, so that way you can kind of see what her feelings are. But it's not like we haven't been listing or doing promoted listings, any of that stuff. So uh, this might be this that time of year, and maybe there's a little law in the system. Who knows? But um, we're not too worried about it. You know, you gotta you gotta take the bad with the good. I also wanted to mention um, Rebel with Rebel Reseller and her husband Christina and I. We we started uh, probably about two months ago. Um, the last Saturday of every month. Uh, we've been trying to get together and try to get um, any other resellers that are in our area to maybe join us for dinner. For the most part, been staying here in Greenville, but uh, this weekend we're going to Johnson City. Uh, you'll probably see this video hopefully before, yeah, because this should be released uh, Saturday around four o'clock or so. And we're going to go to dinner that night, but this weekend we're going to go to Johnson City. Next month, I believe we're going to go to Knoxville. So um, anybody's more than welcome that might want to come meet us for dinner, just uh, hit myself up or Rebel um, on either one of our channels. And we'll, we'll when it gets, it gets closer to time, we're, we're going to let you know where we're going to do dinner at because we don't even know until like the week of. But we've reached out to some other um, YouTubers as well. Hopefully we can get them to join us and uh, just try to have it grow a little bit. But we're, we're trying to stay, you know, somewhere in the East Tennessee area share knowledge amongst everybody try to help each other grow this basically the reseller community come together uh one night and have dinner and and relax and, and share thoughts okay so uh she doesn't know the total numbers for this week um because we're about to head off to a yard sale that we've been to for the last two days just keep bringing more and more stuff but how do you feel that we sold 11 items for 340 dollars this week for the week we suck. <laughs> oh, it happens. Every See, day can't not, be a great day. Not the reaction I expected, but... Uh, oh, I've been in retail a lot longer. I know there's a lot of ups and downs. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we suck. So we're going to go buy more stuff no, since... No, <laughs> it was just a bad week. <laughs> so we're going to go buy more stuff, even though we didn't sell much, so... Yeah. That's okay. the fun part. For me, anyways. <laughs> <Yeah>. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day